guys welcome back to another video see my face but this video is not a vlog it's not it's a sit down video you know as you see the title is we're about to bleach your wig we bleach your wig together a lot of people use different things different products but me i always i stick to what i know these i'm gonna tell you more about it in the video so let's get to it okay as you guys can see this is the wig this is what the wig look like um we're gonna be bleaching the knots these are the knots these are how the knots look as you can see this is what you don't want your wig to look like when you put it on your head so i'm gonna show you guys how to get rid of them this is the close-up so with that being said i'm going to show you guys how to put the bleach on there okay this is the developer i use the powder uh, okay this is the developer i use 40 volume the developer this is the powder i use i always use this powder i never use no other powder this is the same one so I always eyeball it I can't tell you how much like the amount or anything but this is it right here it's the powder so <clears throat> you're gonna take like I take like I say two spoons two spoons full, and I put it in here that's it right there and with this, you're gonna take, like, I'm gonna say two caps, two caps full, if I could open it. So, you don't want it to be too liquidy or too thick, but you want it to be thick enough. So, we're gonna pour that in there. I mix as I go. So, like, until I know I need more, just keep mixing it. It does, I'm gonna tell you guys too, I'm hard-headed. You're supposed to use, cover your hands when you do this because you don't want chemical burns, you don't want anything of that source. Me, I just, I guess I don't care. I will say, I, I need to get better. This is... You see how that side look? I didn't put too much, but I... This is how you want it to look. You want it to look like a paste, like this right here. But I'm gonna add a little bit because I feel like me personally, that's too thick for me. So I'm gonna add just like a little bit more. And I know I'm gonna add more powder because this is a frontal that we're doing. So I know I want to use more powder to make enough, but I don't want to make too much. So I'm going to put this in this fast. Okay, you guys seen that last clip? This is what you want it to look like. Look like a paste. Not too thick, not too watery. This is how I always do mine. What people don't tell you guys either, it has a smell to it. It has a terrible smell. So we're gonna move this out the way and put this to the side. Put the top on the developer. This is what you want next. This is what you're gonna want to use right here. So you're gonna bring clear your I'm gonna clean my dust off here. But with this, the lace, you're gonna see like all the hair is gonna be mainly in the way. You don't want the hair in the way. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna brush those back. Brush it all back. Okay, 
Okay, so ooh, almost dropped the wig. So when you get all that brush back, hold on. The flyaways. This is where this is gonna come in handy. So what you're gonna do is you wanna go far. You wanna you're gonna spray it just enough because you don't want to bleach none of the hair. Brush those back. I'm gonna move all of this. Usually I clip one. I braid it and clip the hair. But okay, I'm gonna come back when I get all the flyaways off of here. Okay, you're gonna use this again on the inside. Don't go close. Always go far. Because this is sticky. It's very sticky. So I'm going to put that down. Okay, I'm going to try to zoom in so you guys can see how I'm about to. Okay. So, the part that you guys was waiting for, we're going to use this. This right here. The paste. So, this is how much, wait, that's a little too much, like on camera, but this is how much you want to use. You're going to put that down, let it focus. You want to start from the back. You don't want to start up here because that's going to bleach fast. So, we're going to start right here and onto the back, and we're going to work our way up. So, start from the bottom. Don't push too much because if you push, you're gonna, the bleach is gonna seep through the holes in the wig. So, you don't wanna, I'm gonna put this in fast mode so you guys can see. <laughs> Okay, as you guys see, I did finish bleaching. I'm zoom in for you. This is what it looked like so far. This is the top part. Ooh, don't want to get one of my hands. But I did, was kind of heavy handed. I am heavy handed. But I did make sure I didn't overdo it. So you can see the bleach right here. You want to, I would say, leave the bleach on. Not even in full. 10 minutes, 10, 5 minutes, because it bleached fast. It always bleached fast for me. So, as y'all can see, I didn't wear gloves. I have a chemical burn. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. Please wear gloves, please, because it's my hands. But, yes, that's what this look like with the bleach on it. I'm going to come back after... It's done bleaching, and I'll show you guys what it look like, and I'll show you guys how I wash it and all that stuff. I'll be back. Okay, it's been like three minutes. You can see a little bit. Ooh, let it focus. You can see it's turning a little bit, but I will say you don't want it to change too much. Like I over, you know, overdid a little bit, but don't do what I did. But yeah, when you see it's churning, you can go wash it. So I'm in the sink now, as y'all can see, this is what the bleaching look like. Some of it did bleach too much. It bleached way too much. But with that being said, we're about to wash it out. You can see. So I do, when I wash, I use warm water. Some people are different. This is how I do it personally. I don't even know. If it's not bleached, like you can always bleach again. But like if it's not bleached the right way, it's been like actually 10, almost 15 minutes. If it's not the way I like it, I'm going to bleach it again. So, 
see what the mask looks like. The lining up here is not that good, so when I go back, so the original spark can be better. But this is what the mask looks like. Right? So a lot of people use this is certain shampoo that a lot of people use. A lot of people use, and this is what I'm gonna use today. I always use these. So you're gonna go put the shampoo first. I go in a circular motion to make sure I get everything all the bleach out. And then okay, so that's our original spot. This is what it looked like being bleached. Now, I am going to do it a little bit more to get like the knots right here away. So once I bleach it one more time, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. But yeah, you see right here? You want to get all the knots away. See? This is what you want to go. So I am going to bleach it one more time and after I do that, I'm going to come back. Okay, so this is the part I put the bleach on. I didn't put it everywhere. I put it on like mainly the hairline because that's the part I want to be bleached. So when I see the knots on that one, I'm going to leave this on there for not too long. But yeah. Okay, so I did the wash and everything off the camera for the second time. It got a little bit, just a little bit, but not that much. But you don't want to over bleach it because it will make the hair and everything fall out. But other than that, the bleaching is fine. This is how it looks. Sorry, I had too much stuff out. But this is how the bleaching looks so far. This is a close-up. Yes, it looks good. Uh, let's see. I'm going to part it so you guys can see more of it, not just the front. I did over bleach, like I said. A little bit much. But yes this is the bleaching video for you guys let me know if you guys want to see a wig install i most definitely could do it but yes this is the wig i hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment subscribe thanks for watching